Hey guys, check it out. I have the brand new Celestron Origin. This thing has yet to actually reach the public. Um, I'm working with Celestron for the podcast and they had a chance to send one of these to me. So I'm gonna be unboxing it right now and then I'm gonna be getting it outside under the clear night skies and testing this thing out. I'm super excited, so come along with me. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna just be super careful as I'm opening this guy up because I've never opened one of these Origins up before and I don't know how they package it, but my guess is it's very similar to the Evo 8 in that it's a similar design. So when opening this, there's usually a box within a box. Let's see if I'm right. Yep, there it is, box within a box. So they do a really great job at making sure that this telescope is going to be safe in its travels. Oh, there it is, the origin, guys. Let me get this box off the table and we'll check it out. All right, so within this box is the origin itself. And the origin is a six inch Rasa design. That's a Ro Ackerman Schmidt astrograph. And this type of telescope is special in that it actually does not have the ability to look through with your eyes. It requires that you use a camera. All right, and there it is, the Rasa, the Ro Ackerman Schmidt astrograph. And when we open up the optics, just kind of spin it off. Looks like they have some packaging in the front to keep that camera safe, as well as the optics. All right, a little dew shield there. And when I open it up, there's also a USB-C cable that is going to be added into the connection for the camera. So there it is. And on the back, we have a port for USB 3.0, USB 2.0, as well as for a LAN cable. So that's pretty nice that you'll be able to connect via LAN. And on the front here, if you look closely, you can kind of see in there, you've got the camera on the front of the telescope, the Rasa design, which makes this guy extremely fast um, with that prime focus on the optics. On the back, there's a fan, and there are some vent holes throughout the telescope's rear end for both probably the mirror as well as for the computers in the back, which we have quite a bit of uh, coverage with those fans in the, in the rear cell. All right, next is the alt azimuth mount. So this altitude and azimuth mount is very similar to what is on the Evo 8, which is right over there. And it's capable of tracking uh, the night sky in altitude and azimuth. So it's not an equatorial mount, but at this speed of optics, um, it's not really necessary to have a very long exposure. Um, the origin is generally doing about a 10 second exposure with this mount. And that's enough to be able to accumulate basically uh, 10 seconds worth of data. So they're collecting light for 10 seconds and then it's taking another image leading right up after that. So this mount is normally on a tripod. I wanted to make abundantly clear that this is the tripod that comes with the Origin. I'm gonna be showcasing the Origin with the travel tripod, which I really like it paired with this, but it is a separate purchase. This is what you would get if you buy an Origin, um, but this is an awesome upgrade. The compact version of the Origin is effectively what you're getting. Um, you don't need to be looking through the telescope, so to have it on these little tiny feet, um, as long as you don't mind it either being very close to the ground, which would be just fine, um, or if you wanna put it on a table or something, uh, you could do that, you don't have to, and it will find its way around just like normal. It'll just be at a smaller size. So something to consider. I like it, and I could see a use for both depending on your situation. All right, so I can't do this with just the mount. I need a tripod, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually steal some of my background here, here in the studio, and that means I'm taking the travel tripod off of the Evo 8 
so that I can demo the origin with this exact same setup. And now we've got the travel tripod, which should make this pretty cool. So this is gonna become ultra portable really quick. Now this is not what normally comes with the Evo, but for the investment to be able to make this an ultra portable system, I really like this option and I think it's worth in exploring. So on the bottom here, we've got uh, the normal tripod screws and the travel tripod has that same bolt pattern on it. So there's nothing special to do. Um, there is a little bubble level here on the travel tripod that's super helpful to make sure that you're nice and level once you've got uh, this up and running. And you're gonna want to just kind of place this guy on here. There's a little pin in the center that goes right into that hole and that will keep things aligned enough until you are ready. Let's get that on. And there we go, we're locking in now. One, two, and three. And you've got adjustment knobs in each leg so that you can make sure by looking at the bubble level, which is back here for me, uh, that you are right where you wanna be. Okay. Now, I have my unlocking clutch right there. That allows me to move the telescope mount in azimuth. And I've got another clutch on the side over here. And that also gets unlocked and it allows the other clutch for the altitude to move up and down. Now, the, what you're gonna wanna do here is kinda set this up in a way that is convenient and somewhat uh, stable. And so I like to place it on the horizontal so that when I lay the telescope in, it just kind of sits there. And I like to have this one kind of an angle away from my body. And then I lock down both clutches. And for me, um, just given where I'm at, I like to kind of hug the scope and place it in there. And once I have it in, I lock it down. Now I really like how this is set up because it's hard to see from where we're at, but Celestron has this thing dialed in pretty nicely. There's a little shield that kind of wraps up and around the scope here, guides it in just so that you know you're at the right depth uh, and that it's definitely locked in there. Now, you'll notice that when I get this set up that the back end, the rear cell here and all the computers stuff, that is, a little heavier. And so what we're gonna want to do is we're going to want to carefully, carefully unlock this clutch. Uh, or I should say unlock the dovetail and carefully move it a little bit forward, lock it back down again, and then unlock the clutch again while holding on to the scope. And you'll notice that now uh, the scope is well balanced and I can unlock the clutch and just let it go. Now, when I take off the front of the scope here, um, that may make a slight difference in my balance, but it's nothing major. See, but I can tell a slight difference there now with the front dew shield uh, cap taken off. So you might wanna do the balancing um, after that just slightly. Um, it wouldn't be a big deal. In fact, in some ways, it's good to have the scope slightly out of balance because the way of the gears work inside, um, it's good to keep the gear uh, from being back and forth and sloppy uh, and increasing the backlash. Uh, whereas if you can let it ride a little bit on the gears as it's tracking um, that's usually best. So um, I think I would leave it, honestly, slightly out of balance like this, that's me. Um, but if you wanted to put it back into better balance, you would just kind of repeat this process with the cap off, taking this, unlocking it, sliding this guy forward just a little bit, and trying one more time. And now 
should be completely in balance. Once again, there it is. So I really like this setup. I think it's cool. I can't wait to get it outside. Um, within the mount, we have Wi-Fi. Within the mount, we have battery capacity. So I'm gonna make sure that this thing has a charge and I'm gonna get it connected to the Wi-Fi um, through my phone directly to the origin. After I have it set up and initialized direct to the origin to my cell phone, I can then have my origin connect to my home Wi-Fi, which is going to give me better range and it's gonna get a better connectivity so that if I wanna walk away and I want to place the telescope outside and then bring myself back down here to the studio, um, I could use my origin from the basement studio through the home network and display it here on my TV in the background, um, which I think is gonna be pretty cool. So hopefully I can get that all to work and you'll be checking that out 